Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of um, Berichel, the archangel God, the blessed by God angel. Nope, not <clears throat> Saturn. He's a false god. Quick knowledge and false gods on God's states. All right. Well, I forgot to explain, you know. I uh, hope you enjoy God only. But we have another uh, holiday that uh, Mac is celebrating majority of the month. And that is uh, Thanksgiving is is everyday living. Yeah, Thanksgiving is everyday living, and this is what I celebrate. Uh, let uh, pretty much making awareness and a reminder that you know I know Thanksgiving is the twenty whatever twenty fifth or whatever whenever they put it as a holiday. That we're that Thanksgiving is supposed to be every day. It's every day that we live our lives, we must learn to be thankful. And as Christians, we are supposed to set a, a, the standard of that of that ideal reality that Thanksgiving is everyday living. You know, the Word of God clearly puts Thanksgiving uh, in, is, is part of what we as Christians are supposed to live our life according to to see that every day is a blessing you know and thanksgiving is everyday living is to remind people of how we are it's supposed to be an everyday thing and 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 uh, and it's a mindset thanksgiving is supposed to be our mindset period you know what i'm saying that we are thankful for something that is given to us no human being did not create their life, but life was given to everyone. You know what I'm saying? That we need, and everything we have is being given to us, is to realize that ideal aspect. Because we carrying on this world, and unfortunately, uh, people that want to listen to the God of this world is blind to my as a man, thinking that whatever we possess is like ours and we created it and it's you know ours which it's a lot you know as what king david says in psalms 24 the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof and everything therein we did not create anything we are a creation and if we created something we took the materials from what god's earth that he created and have what we have is what really being thankful is supposed to oh well thanksgiving is everyday living is supposed to help us realize that reality but we're not realizing the reality unfortunately this wicked world system is teaching us this false ideal of ownership of oh, that you know everybody else own this and own that and or the people that are over uh Things that are in this world that are owners of owner everything they don't own everything you know what I'm saying God owns everything because he created everything so we should be thankful each and every day for everything that we have and the people that we have because guess what we do not own our own lives you know what I'm saying our life is not our own by the grace and mercy of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ everybody is living life day to day is thankful it's supposed to help us realize that more and more in how we uh treat each other and treat things that is given to us that sadly you know uh starbucks uh got their christmas items out the near the first day of uh november i mean totally horrific slap in the face to thanksgiving you know and look you cannot uh truly re be about receiving gifts if you're not even thankful for the gifts that's already been given to you that thanksgiving everyday living is supposed to help hopefully help people understand that you you are being you have a gift already and have been given a gift each and every day and that's life and living all right, well, that's what Thanksgiving Everyday Living is to make that uh, awareness. But topic of the message, um, 
that I've been meditating on, um, you know, uh, it's voting. You know, I had an interesting conversation with someone at the bar at last call and how he was emphasizing the ideal importance of voting to me and how now every vote matters. You know, they tell us, you know, uh, well, based upon whose system, you know, and of course it's a man-made system. And, you know, the thing is I've been, you know, teaching, of course, that, you know, Christians should, if they truly have a true legitimate relationship without not participating in it, um, cause first of all, the, uh, like I said, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is the way. Now, above him, there is no other. And that's including a president, including a senate, including a congressman, consuming a mayor, consuming a government, consuming any politic person out there. Jesus is the answer and the church is supposed to be obeying his word and if they obey his word there will be no problems going on in this world but they're not obeying his word now men feel like they have to now become the answer to the problems and the situations that are going on in this world and it's a sad, very dismal, supposed to be a very dismal, sad situation concerning, if you're looking at it spiritual, that first of all, that the church is not uh, doing what the word of God says and being the answer for the world today that is given to us, Jesus Christ, and that, you know, we need to depend on men to serve positions in our uh, country to be the answers. Um, and, you know, I was meditating, walking over here. You know, I just want to ask, I guess, a, I hope this is a, a genuine question that, you know, you need to consider when you make these decisions on coming in agreement of the authority of men uh, solving the situation and oh yeah they have these other things that vote that people is supposed to vote for laws concerning the amendments and you know uh, they have those kind of voting to this year that is quite interesting that they're having these uh, voting kind of stuff concerning amendments and laws that they uh, uh, want, maybe want to happen concerning our country. Um, but, you know, here's the thing that, you know, like I keep saying and reminding you, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5, cursed is the man that put their trust in man. And they, they will be, you know, and make men's their arms. Or they will depart from the Lord. They will depart from the Lord because the Lord is, Jesus is supposed to be the answer to resolve the problems and the issues that are going on in this world. I mean, the idea that that is not the perception of this world shows us the lack of a church that is not following the instructions of his word and what his word says that we need to be doing to answer these questions. Because look, politics have been creating majority of the problems that are been going on in the world by, you know, really truly not even resolving the problems. Uh, you know, it's just a horrible system that gives people an excuse to say that, well, you know, we're somehow fixing what's going on in the world, and they're not. There, there is Romans eight. I mean, Romans three and four. You know, God be true, every man be a liar. They're gonna lie to you and tell you that they're gonna solve the problem, and that's what I want to talk about. You know, do you actually, if you 
like vote for somebody or vote for amendment uh, to be, you know, yes, I know to amendment. Do you think men is going to honor their work? Do you think the people in government, do you think people that is of this world system knows anything about honoring their words? You know what I'm saying? And in and, and, uh, honest, sincere uh, question that I'm giving you, that you should meditate, that you think that this government or people that live in this world, that live in a world that is uh, influenced mainly uh, wickedness and, you know, uh, encouraging people to do sin, you know, and, uh, and interesting, they have uh, laws they want to pass concerning a lot of things that God calls sin, you know, in this world, you know, that they want you to pass uh, laws for people, you know, and it's, it's really disgusting. It's really disgusting to what extent that the ideal, if a Christian would want to participate in this, concerning if they truly are being and having a in sincereness of being one with God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to want to participate in this ideal aspect and not participating in the ideal of pretty much examining the church system. Like, you know, shout out to my three H's nation that I did examine our faith. Are we truly living by the faith? You know what I'm saying? Concerning our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because if we live in by faith and faith is the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen and faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God and the word of God has and the instructions have been given to us and what we must do to get things right in the world to truly be the church, one body, many members, uh, operating in unity of the spirit, unity of the faith. Um, the answer is right there if we truly want an answer to really solve and resolve the problems that are going on in our cities, in our communities, in our state, in our country. The, the answer is in the Bible. But are we examining this church system and questioning with other Christians about our performance of what we as a church need supposed to be doing according to the word of God, then we involving ourselves against a foolish political system that is, you know, ain't going to honor their word and not going to keep anything what they're going to say, whether you vote for this or whether you vote for that. They're not going to honor a vote. They're going to tell you that they're doing going to do it and they're going to lie to you surprisingly to everybody else that, you know, Know, know that you know a whole lot of people in this world are liars and how much, you know, lying has been going on for so long in this world system and everywhere, every facet of everybody concerning the influence of this uh, television, radio, and, and our internet and our environment. I mean, just filled with lies, lust and lies that can people in this world and in, in, in leadership position uh, truly own up to their word, truly honor their uh, word and their commitment concerning whatever law or amendment they pass up there or to ever anybody serve in government. Do you actually think that they're going to honor their word? I mean, really, honestly. Do you think participating in this is going to make this world a better place? Yeah. Has Satan deceived you with this lie concerning this system that is derived by Roman, Greco-Roman uh, people that worship false gods and goddesses? You know, do you actually think that this is going to bring more answers or oh. Or do you know that it's really bringing more problems than answers? Um, if you want to stay blindfolded to the fact of that, shame on you, really. And shame on you if you get fooled again concerning this uh, 
system of this wicked world system that is all about the deception and the lies of Satan is controlling this world and really I'm finding out finna get ready to spring for their trap well November if you don't know that I did teaching so at the end of November uh, is supposed to be the near the time of uh, the hidden zodiac of Ophiuchus is going to uh, uh, be, the, uh, be there. And the kingdom of darkness have their whole marbles, all their whole wicked spiritual marbles, waiting for Ophiuchus concerning their trap that they are going to set on this earth that is all been orchestrated and if you want to be a part of the trap you are welcome to but those that are of the light that are not doesn't want to be about the things of this world period because you're not of this world you uh, you know you want to be a part of the triumph that God does also has a plan to to triumph over this trap that this world system is going to set that you need to be ready for and not be participating in this world system that is not going to honor their words that they haven't been honoring their words ever since governments exist understand that real ridiculous okay so god be the glory of him forever and ever in jesus name amen